Hi, how are you today? In today's video, I want to talk to you about symptoms. Yes, symptoms that hit you out of the blue. So just a little eye opener here. Please work with me because I have the whole well-rounded approach. And the reason I say this is I know that people sometimes like they do this in like little spurts like they go to someone and that person knows nothing about symptoms how to alleviate them how to get through them and how to up level through it so that you actually do it in a way that is beneficial to not just you but you and your true other half there are going to be symptoms you just cannot ignore and there is a brand new timeline. So a lot of people have maybe heard about the shift or the split, like where there's things that split off. What they think that means is like, I don't know, conspiracy theories in the government. That's not what it means. It means that should you follow and you make your choices to eliminate certain things and integrate certain things, you get onto the real timeline. The real timeline is you awaken, Yes, you do purge, you awaken, you lift up, you purge. You can then activate and have several more activations. That is my gift. I am capable of activating people and capable of your next activations. That's what a Blu-ray can do. Ascend and you integrate, you do these through a session. Okay, so the things that people call downloads, that's not a given that just because you have a download that you've integrated it, but it will tend to push on parts of you and hence you will have symptoms. So that's what I'm here to tell you. How do you not have symptoms? Um, I have found ways to make it really easy for you over a 15 year period, starting from a really while back where I've been able to hone my gifts and my skills to make it very concise, precise and achieve those levels where it is as seamless as possible. In fact, it's very seamless. It's so seamless. Sometimes people think that it's their own best idea ever. How would that be for you? So you then are able to take steps and you begin to gain the feel of real twin flame love. Not the stuff out there that's passing for twin flame love because frankly, it's becoming really old and tired for a lot of people. They're tired of trying to get you know, a, a degree in something that doesn't even bring them any comfort or hugs and kisses or anything like that. So what are some of the symptoms that you can experience in this season? Well, one of them is going to be a gut purge. And when I say this, I mean like your gut is going to liquefy everything in it. You might think that you ate something bad, but oh no, au contraire. It is going to be an emptying out like you cannot even believe. And my suggestion for you is go with it, roll with it, cooperate with this process, okay? It's one thing to say, trust the process. You're taking a lot of things on blind faith, but when you cooperate with the process, you're being proactive. So what would you do if your gut is emptying out, especially in the full moon energy? What is that affecting in you? Well, believe it or not, your gut is very correlated to other parts of you. It's how you eat, digest, assimilate, evacuate. It's also, for a lot of women, right up against a lot of your reproductive organs. And it can be really confusing. Am I having cramps? Am I having the other kind of cramps? The other kind of cramps? Did I eat something funny? Am I allergic to something? Am I having a food issue now? Usually no and no and no and no, but yes and yes and yes and yes, because if you were to look at your past, you would be like, whoa, that's why that happened. Whoa, that's why that happened. Oh my God, my poor grandmother, look at what she endured. And your body is gonna do a gut purge like you can't even believe. It's it's really something and it happens to everyone on the journey on their twin flame journey on the way why because you have to purge that out so that you can get where you're going that's why i'm saying proactive well, i would say do a mini fast as i have outlined it in my book called inner healing the link is below the other one is sleep as much as possible now this is where a lot of people are struggling and especially if you have rumblings in your tummy you're going to be like i can't sleep well i'm up and down you gotta catch that sleep where you can and you can do it as outlined in my twin flame sleep and love book so that is uh 
one of my most precious things is to be able to sleep and have lucid dreams. Those lucid dreams are absolutely delicious and a lot of them are love making dreams. Okay, be, which then gives you the taste and the feel of real twin flame love. No matter your age, no matter your body type, no matter your gender, no matter where you find yourself on the spectrum of sexuality, it comes for you. And this is absolutely the thing that people write. Love is relentless or, you know, like they put it in the weddings where it's there's just simply saying, you know what? The love keeps coming for you and coming for you and coming for you. In some ways, you can feel the love at the same time that your tummy isn't feeling well. You can feel what you want is to almost feel like you have been lifted out of that level, that there is a magical being, hint, your etheric twin, lifting you out of all that misery, all of that discomfort, all of the things that might have been. This is something that we're eliminating in this energy is you're eliminating possibilities, but not your good possibilities. You're eliminating the possibility that they as a couple or they as a couple would endure simply because one person is really ill. And so for a lot of people, you're going to be in the mode of dodging a bullet with me helping Helping you. What kind of bullets am I going to help you dodge? A lot of them, okay? And you have to be proactive with it. That's how the light body rolls, is the light body is designed so it's not carrying all that old ancient stuff anymore. It's not carrying your inability to sleep. It's enabling you. It is feeding you and nurturing you and allowing the love through. So now other people they don't really talk about symptoms. I don't know why. Sometimes they talk about it in a very general way, like, oh, I felt this and I felt that, but they don't give you how to. They don't tell you what to do. They don't teach. They don't outline it. They have no materials prepared to let you know this is what you can get to help you, okay? And this is all brand new, okay? This is all brand new. We're not giving away the store. I'm sorry, I can't. I uh, dishonor myself that way. A lot of people say that too, like, oh, you know, I'm, and you know what winds up happening to them? They get really disheartened about it. I don't recommend it. It's very much something that I never want to see people squander their gifts or anything. So what do other people do? You awaken and do nothing. And they tell you to do nothing. And they keep telling you things like, oh, your twin flame is a narc, or the DMs are very narky, or that's just your karmic. You can use and abuse them because they're a karmic and you're going to kick them to the curbs at some point. Or, oh my God, girl, you're such a murder. You wouldn't believe what he did this time. Girl, you're such a murder. Get over it. Stop being the victim already. I mean, really... By now, after 10 years, who cares? I'm like bored to death with it. Get your ass moving. So she has to do that. Or you have other people here who do nothing. Hey, how's it going? You know, um, yeah, it's going okay, except this girl I like. Yeah, it's... I keep hoping this is it. She asked me for a little money because she wants to like do something and uh, I'm hoping she'll invite me. Dude, you're being taken advantage of. Like get over it already. No, she's special to me. I feel like she's the one. Nobody feels like she's the one. Snap out of it before she drains the living life out of you. Oh, I'm not sure about that. Maybe I'll go look in a crystal ball. Dude, no crystal balls. Pull your head out of your butt. Okay, so, you know, I, I'm sorry, but it's time where these symptoms and the new timeline you're on is really, it's not a thing of the mind. It's not what your mind thinks. It is going to push you to get on what this is really about. Everyone and their brother is going to go through a gut purge. Men are going to go through it. 
Wait, what? I gotta purge my gut? Like, I don't birth babies. No, but your other half might, and you might have in a past life, so you're gonna purge that gut out real good. Wait, what? I get a monthly, every month I get my courses and my cycles and, oh my God, how much of this am I supposed to take? That's the beauty part. You don't have to take it and take it and take it, take it, take it, take it. You can actually be proactive, have a session, get my materials, and really make it simple for yourself to do this and to be who you came here to be. So symptoms happen to everyone. I'm going to tell you something else too, and I can break this down to dollars and cents for real, at least here in the United States. How many people are treating their ascension and their health and their wellness and their mental health as a crisis? The whole world is doing things in crisis mode. We got to be different. We have to be able to do this properly where it's proactive and it's on track and it's season by season and it's appropriate for that season and it ultimately leads you to the person you're supposed to be with and who loves you and not have all these things to hinder you when that time comes. So you might think that it should be flipped, like shouldn't we come together and then we do all this like purging and stuff? No, that actually is not efficient from a higher level. Your soul knows what it's doing and the way for you to do this is to be proactive. Now, I don't mean this to sound um, very rough, but there is a timing here. And next year is really going to be a proving ground for some of this. And there's already things that are falling apart just as much as there are things that need to come together. Stay the course. I'm here to help. And I'm here to get you on track. Almost everyone is at the point where they can begin to do some of these next steps. And I'm here to help you with that. If you have questions, please write them to me or check out my website twinflameringconnection.com. And I hope to help you and I hope you have a great day. Bye now.